Hi guys, this is Himanshu from the CMS guys. Today I will teach you how to create a complete portfolio website from beginning to end with an attractive design using absolutely free tools and theme in WordPress using Elementor. Our portfolio website will be mobile responsive as well which means it is fully optimized for mobile view as well. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and show us your love and support by liking the video. Do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notification of a new video every week. Also mention in the comment section below which website you would like to learn creating in WordPress using Elementor in the next video. Now let me show you a demo of the portfolio website that we are going to build today. Then I will show you how to create portfolio website in WordPress using Elementor. This is the home page of our portfolio website. On the top, you can see that we have a header with our logo and then on the right, we have a link to different sections as it is a single page website. In the middle here, you can see that in the first section, we have our hero section with a cover photo with introduction of a person in typing effect and a various social media icons with links. Moving to the next section, here you can see that this is the about section. Here we have an image on the left and on the right we have a title, description and progress bar with skill titles, two call to action buttons over here. Next we have the service section. Here we have six image boxes. Each box has an icon, title and description. And when we are hovering over these, you can see the background color of that and icon box is changing. Now let's move to the next section. Here you can see that we have this portfolio section. Here we have a title and then four call to action buttons which are used to categorize and filter the but below images boxes. Here you can see like when I am clicking on this each button here it is getting filtered. When I am hovering over each box here you can see we have this image and then when we are hovering over it we are getting a title, description and then two link icons. Next, we have this client section. Here we have the title, logo and carousel of icons over here with different clients. Moving forward, we have this testimonial section. Here we have again a title and four image boxes with hover effect and each box has client image, testimonial and name. After that, we have this latest blog section. Here in this latest box, we have this uh, title over here and then we have three image boxes and each image box has an image with this hover over effect on the image and then we have a blog title and then blog description with this read more link over here. After that we have this contact us section, here we have three image, here you can see three icon boxes over here with this icon and then we have a title and then we have this description text next here you can see we have a contact form below that in this we have various fields with the call to action button and a with say send message button and at last we have this copyright uh, text over here which is the bottom of the footer as I told you, this the portfolio website is completely mobile responsive. So now let me show you the mobile view of it. So let me go to the inspect and here you can see it is a mobile friendly website. Now that you have seen what our target website will look like. So let's dive into creating it guys. Do watch the complete video so that you don't miss any important point. Please ask any queries you have in the comment section below and leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified about a new video every week. Also let us know which website you would like to learn next. Let's start creating this website. So at first we need a domain name and hosting to set up the website. So for that we need to go to this thecmsguys.com slash namecheck. So uh, we are on the Namecheap hosting page and I have been using this Namecheap for three years now and not faced any issue till date. All my websites which we have created for uh, our tutorial purpose or anything, everything, every website, all my websites are uh, hosting on this Namecheap only. I recommend you to use this same as it is very easy to use and configure and also cheaper than other providers. You can check other providers price and you will definitely 
uh, see that uh, this Namecheap uh, hosting provider is very much cheap. There are three plans here. You can see that I personally use this Teller business plan as it suits my requirements. But if you are starting out, I recommend you to use uh, with uh, use. You can purchase this Teller Plus plan. It is more than enough for most use cases. It comes with an unmetered SSD, auto backup, and unlimited websites. Auto backup saves you from unnecessary hassles and unlimited websites are also a great offering. It also gives you a SSL protection which makes sure your, your website doesn't show up as potential threat to any user and also gives you a domain name for free. There are some more benefits like unlimited bandwidth, privacy protection, etc. that you get with all Namecheap hosting. So uh, you can, uh, if you will purchase any of this hosting, you will get that uh, privacy protection and all. So here you can see that uh, you have an option of selecting a data center. So you must select uh, your uh, data center near your country. And here on this top right corner, here you can see that all the price are in dollar. If you want to change the currency here, you can uh, select this uh, USD and uh, here you can change it. So let me change it to Indian rupee as I am from India. Then uh, let's uh, select the Stellar Plus plan. Now it takes you to select. Uh, let me click on this get started. After that, uh, when you will select this Teller Plus plan, now here you can see that it is asking you about the domain name. This is a free domain name you will get. So enter any domain name you wish to purchase in this box below and then select the domain name and click to connect to hosting. So here, uh, of, if you have an existing domain name, then also you can uh, click on this existing domain name. So after that, uh, here, uh, if you will type a domain name, let me uh, type a demo domain name. Uh, let me do one thing. I will do uh, this CMS guys. So here you can see that all these domain names are of free of cost. This and after that, uh, when uh, here you have to click this connect to hosting. After clicking on this connect to hosting here, you can and then click on this add to cart. So uh, here you can see that uh, when we have done this add to cart option, uh, here we have this domain uh, one year subscription, the price become a zero and then domain register domain privacy. We are getting one year subscription and domain registration. If you want to increase, then also you can increase your domain registration. Uh, and if you uh, want, you can enable the um, this auto renew feature. And now uh, let us confirm our order after verifying the domain. Uh, you can click on this confirm order to confirm this. And uh, when you will click on this confirm order. So now on the next page here, you can see that it is asking you about uh, this uh, uh, you, uh, login credential if you have if you don't have any account then you can create an account and if you have any uh, if you have account then you can log in it from here so i already have an account so i will use that here so let's sign in now so let me enter my username and password after entering the username and password let me click on this sign in and continue and then uh, here you can see that uh, it is asking about uh, this uh, payment method so here you can use any of this payment method here we have you have you can use this card details or if you want to uh, use this paypal or anything so you can choose any of this payment method you like and you can continue confirm your order once more uh, you have to click on this uh, continue and then after that uh, you have to click on this uh, pay now to confirm the order once the payment is completed you will be redirected to the dashboard so let me show you the dashboard so you will be redirected to this dashboard and where you can manage your domain and hosting from here so here and as we have got the hosting and domain so our next step is to set up the wordpress so from this uh, dashboard you can click on this uh, here you can see when you will hover over this uh, you can get this go to c panel so from here uh, you can uh, it will be redirected you to the c panel after then uh, click on uh, we have to install the wordpress so first uh, now uh, to install wordpress we have to scroll down to bottom and uh, or you can also getting this search option here you can search for wordpress 
and then here you can see that wordpress manager by softaculous we have to use this one you can click on this and uh, here uh, you have to choose the domain name where you have to where you want to install so for that uh, let me first uh, first of all uh, let me install the uh, wordpress on my domain name so for it what i will do uh, we have to fill in the uh, in wordpress details and all first of all click on this install and then here we have to search for so here you can see that this is my domain name where i want to install so here i have selected this uh, the cms guys dot in and then uh, here we have to fill our site name and then site description so site name is basically our site title so here i will give it the name the cms let me give it cms guys after that uh, here uh, in this description i will be give our uh, company uh, tagline which is spreading the knowledge so let me give it then we have to choose the username and password uh, so uh, then uh, then we have to choose this uh, so let me give it a username so here i will give it this ms guys and you can use random password or you can uh, give any password also or you can uh, use any of this password or you can also use random password generator to generate uh, passwords for you after that uh, here we have to fill this uh, admin email address so here i will going to uh, pay uh, give my my email address so let me give it and then uh, here uh, you can skip the theme installation uh, here you can no need to select uh, we will select our own theme and uh, finally here we have to uh, click on this install button so our wordpress you can find that uh, within a few minutes our wordpress installed uh, successfully so let's wait for it then we will get one message for uh, our wordpress and so here you can see that congratulations message is here and then the here you can see that the software was installed successfully so now we can uh, we will start creating and customizing our website for that we need to go to the dashboard so here you can see this the administrative url is uh, basically the dashboard uh, url for the wordpress so you can uh, let me open the, our uh, website first so here you can see that this is uh, the cms guys dot in where we have installed the wordpress and this is how it's uh, going to look like because it is the default theme is activated now so uh, if you want to go to this uh, dashboards and then you have to just uh, here after your website name you have to uh, put a slash and then wp hyphen admin and then here uh, you will be uh, redirect to your uh, dashboard login panel and here also you can find this administrative url the same url it will be also redirect to you to the dashboard of this uh, here uh, dashboard of the wordpress so here you can see that after that uh, we will uh, we have to enter this uh, username and password uh, which for which uh, so here you have to enter your username and password and then uh, entering this uh, you will be see this uh, dashboard so let me show you again so here you can see that this is how the wordpress dashboard is going to look like this is the welcome message that you are going to get and this is the basic overview and first look whenever you will logged inside the wordpress dashboard so now let me quickly give you a brief description about what are the options available in the wordpress dashboard and we have to do a basic setup before starting creating our website so let's do the basic settings also so first of all here in the wordpress dashboard we have this post option so what does this post option does is like whenever if you are creating any blogging site in your wordpress site then you have to use this post section and here you can create different categories of post for your blog post so here you can see like we are getting a categories option and also a tags option so you can create different categories of blog post and also you can give them different tags so here initially you will find a hello world post and we are not going to use this hello world post so what i'm going to do now i will click on this trash to delete this hello world post and then whenever you will go to this trash option you will find that hello world post just click on this empty trash and that post will be deleted for permanently 
next we have this media option so what does this media option does so here uh, all the images as you can see in the demo website what are the images available over here all these images will be present in the media library section so here is the cat images and then audio video document spreadsheet whatever like these types of medias we are going to use everything will be present in the media library section only next we have this pages section so here if we will uh, see different uh, like two pages whenever you will install on wordpress on your site this privacy policy page and the sample page but uh, as you can see in the demo website this is a single page website so we are like we have to create only a one page but if you have a multiple page website then you can create different pages using this pages option so here we don't need any of this page like privacy policy or sample page what i am going to do now i will select all these pages and under bulk action i will select this move to trash option and then click on this apply button to delete this pages now let's move to this uh, trash option and here you will find those pages just click on this empty trash to delete those pages for permanently so once i will click on this empty trash button here you can see that two pages permanently deleted next we have this comments option as you have a blogging site or you are publishing blogs on your website then you will get this comments all the comments whatever comments you are getting on your blog post everything will be present over here you can see different tabs over here like mine pending approved spam trash so here in this mine section you will find whatever uh, comments you have given so you will get the here and then if you have put some comments in the pending section then it will uh, display over here in the pending section or if you have approved the comments then it will display over here in the approved section then here you, you can mark the comments as spam or you can delete those comments also next we have this appearance option so here in this appearance section you can see like we have these uh, three number of plugin uh, themes over here and you can use any of this theme so let me show you uh, how our demo website looks like so here you can see that this is the first look of the site now whenever i will activate this 2020 theme and whenever i will refresh the page you will see like this is how it's going to look like in this 2020 theme so i must recommend you to use only a single theme on your wordpress site so let me show you how you can delete a theme in wordpress so here you will find whenever you will hover over the any of this theme you will find this theme details option just click on the theme detail and then on the right side corner you will get this delete option just click on the delete and then click on this ok to confirm the delete in the same way let's delete this 2019 theme also so for that again i am going to click on this theme details and then on the right side delete and then click on ok to confirm the delete so now we are not going to use this 2020 theme later on we will install the theme that we are going to use so now let's move to the plugins option so here in this plugins option here in as i am using localhost that's why i am getting all these like ask these two plugins so here only but you can uh, add like more number you will get more number of plugins whenever you will install from any of the hosting provider so first what you have to do here uh, you can uh, first you have to select the plugins those were activate and under bulk action you can uh, you have to select this deactivate option and then click on the apply button to deactivate those plugins first once you deactivate those plugins again you have to select this uh, delete option under bulk action after selecting all the plugins that you want to delete and then click on this apply button and then click on this ok so your plug all the plugins will delete in a single click you don't need to delete them one by one so what does this plugin do so these plugins add extra features to our website like the page builder that we are going to use or the for contact form that we are using everything we are going to use for them a plugin so plugins add extra features to our website so now next we have this users option as you can see over here like we have this default user which is admin and then uh, you can create different num users for your wordpress dashboard so that a different person can log in like if you uh, your website is managing by many people then they can use like their credentials to log inside the dashboard and, and you can also check them using plugin like what which user has modified which page and everything 
so let me show you what are the roles you can create over here so here you can see these are the roles which you can create like subscriber contributor author editor administrator suppose if you have someone who is on only updating your blog post then you can create a editor role for them and then they can easily able to uh, changes your blog post section now let me show you how you can create a new user to create a new user you are going to get this add new button just click on that add new button and then here you can uh, give your username and email so make sure like username and email are only the required field over here then you can uh, add first name last name also uh, and uh, here you will get this generate password button where you can easily and randomly generate a strong password otherwise if you are going to give any weak password then you are you will automatically get a confirm password like here so if you have to confirm password by clicking on it by in this tick mark and that you are use, going to use a conf weak password for this wordpress dashboard then uh, next we have this send user notification make sure you always tick mark this so that whenever you will create a new access in your wordpress dashboard then that user is going to get a email notification there next we have this role option where we can uh, select different roles like contributor author editor or administrator so in this way you can select any of this role which you want to create and then you have to click on this add new user option to create a new user next we have this uh, profile option so i am not going to create any new user that's why let me click on this leave and then here in this profile option you can set all your like change the color themes of your site here you can see you can set different color themes for your site and then you can update your first name last name and nickname also so as you can see here my display name is admin if i will change my nickname to the cms guys then it will appear over here in display name it, you can set this display name as the cms guys and here you can see the cms guys is appearing and then um, you cannot like username cannot be changed once it is created so make sure whenever you will create a new user create a, a particular username for them so and you cannot change those username also next here we have this email option which is required for to create a e account then we you can add a biographical information about yourself and you can also change the profile picture here and you can uh, here you can see you can set a new password for your user next uh, let's move to the settings tab and uh, here let's see what are the options present over here in the settings so here you can see in the general setting we have this uh, site title and tagline as you can see in our demo website we have a site title like by the cms guys uh, portfolio 5 so here let's change the tagline instead of just another website by the cms guys and once i will click on the save changes when i will refresh the page you will see like portfolio 5 by the cms guys is coming over here next we here you can see that we can you have a getting one option of changing the administration email address over here and make sure you have given a correct administration email address so that whenever if you will forgot your wordpress uh, dashboard admin username and password you can easily able to change this admin uh, like using this e administration email address you can easily able to retrieve your credentials or wordpress dashboard next we have this membership option so we are not going to create any membership site so i am not going to tick mark on this and here you can see like new user default role that would be a subscriber role only and uh, you can like basically these membership sites uh, we are like you mostly the membership sites are the default role for the membership sites are the subscriber only next here you can see that we are getting a site language option where you can change the language of your website then you can set the time zone for your website and here you are getting this date and time format where you can give a custom date and time format using the help of this documentation whenever you will click on this documentation you can uh, create a custom date and time format for your site next uh, let's uh, move to the important setting that is this permalink setting and whenever you will uh, install wordpress on your site the default permalink setting would be day and name so make sure you have selected this uh, post name whenever you are going to create a 
permalink setting so this is the main setting that we have to do next we have that let's save the changes and let's go back to the dashboard so here this is the welcome screen and if you don't want these on like uh, site health status and quick draft at a glance so how you can get rid of this so you are getting a screen option just click it and you can untick all these things that you don't want to see and here you can see our dashboard is completely clean next under this home tab uh, we have another tab which is updates tab and what does this updates tab will do so using this updates tab you can update like you will get a notification whenever you will get a new wordpress update or if you have any theme or plugins update you will also get that one as you can see over here like i have one theme update which is this 2020 theme and i have also like an updated version of wordpress is also updated so once i will click on this update to version 5.9.2 then it will start installing that new version automatically and then it will get update my wordpress uh, version so let's wait like i have already created uh, clicked on that word uh, update my wordpress so here you can see the wordpress update is going on so let's wait till this wordpress update complete so now here you can see that like wordpress new version is also updated and then whenever i will uh, hover over this da dashboard uh, here you will find like i am getting one more updates option where you will see uh, once i will go to these updates i am getting one update for the theme so i am not going to update this theme because we are not going to use this theme also so with this we have done with all the basic setups of our wordpress dashboard so now let's start installing the theme that we are going to use and the page plugins that we are going to use to start creating our website so now uh, let's move to the installation of theme so to install a theme again let's go to the appearance option and here you will find this add new button so click on that add new and the theme that we are going to use is ocean wp so you can uh, search for astra also so astra is also a good theme so we can use this theme also so this is also a free theme so let's click on this install and let's use this astra theme to create our site so here you can see that once i have clicked on this install now this theme is getting installed once it will get installed uh, then i will get one activate button over there where i can click on that activate button and to it the theme will be get activated so here you can see the extra theme is getting installed so let's wait till the installation completed so now here you can see that the theme is all installed and we are getting one activate button just click on that and this extra theme will get activated so as i have already told you like i must prefer you like use to only a single theme so let me delete this other two theme also to delete theme again i will go to this theme details and then delete it in the same way let's delete this 2020 theme also so now we have only a single theme now let's move towards the plugin and let's install the required plugins that we are going to use so here also you will get one add new button so just click on that add new and let's search for the plugins that we are going to use the page builder that we are going to use that is the elementor page builder and you have to search for elementor so once you will search for Elementor over here, then you will get this Elementor website builder plugin. So we are going to install this. So let's click on this install now. And one more plugin that we are going to use is this essential add-ons for Elementor. So I'm going to install these two plugin. And uh, after this two plugin, uh, we want to add one more plugin. Let's see whether we have we are getting that for like plugin or not. Otherwise, we will have to search for that plugin. So let's wait till this essential add-ons Elementor will install. Then we will search for that plugin. That plugin is WP Forms that we are going to use to create the form. So let's search for that plugin WP Forms. And whenever you will search for WP Forms, you are going to get that one. So here you can see contact form by WP form. So this is what we are going to use for the contact form. So let's click on install. And uh, as you have remember, like I have not activated those two plugins also. So I will show you how you can activate all the plugins in a single click. Let's uh, wait till this contact form completed. 
so here you can see that this uh, wp forms is completely installed so let's go to this install plugins option and here you can see we have this three number of plugin so let's select those plugins and under bulk action you will get this activate option just select that activate option now click on this apply button once you will click on this apply button all the three plugins will be activate in a single click so here whenever i will go back to the plugin section you will see like all the plugins were activated in a single click all right so we are done with this installation of theme and installation of plugin now let's move creating the home page of the portfolio so to create a page let's go to the pages section and here i will click on this add new and let's start creating a first page so here after clicking on this add new you are going to get this add title so let me give it a title over here and let's publish the page once you will publish the page let's view the page and let's see what we are getting over here so as you can see like we are getting this home page as title and then on the right side we are getting all this recent post and everything but we don't want to see all these things so we need a completely blank page so here whenever you will under in this template section uh, here you can see like we have a default template just select this element at canvas and update the template and uh, you will uh, see like we will get a complete blank page so here you can see now we have got a complete blank page so now uh, we can like customize it accordingly so this is one method how you can make this entirely completely blank or you whenever you will scroll down you are putting this all this discussion and permalink featured image all this you can set here over here like what is if you want to set any feature image or anything but under this page attribute let's uh, in this block setting also you are not getting anything so before moving like creating the first page i just want to show you a few more things so as you can see over here this is my website name portfolio com, and whenever i am go here in this page or whenever i will click on the home page also this is my default page but uh, here in my case here you can see that localhost slash portfolio 5 is my website name and slash home is coming for the home page i don't want to see that i want to make this home page as a default page because whenever i will refresh this my site here you can see i am getting all this sidebar and all but i want this home page to display over here so how i can do that let's go back to the wordpress dashboard again and here whenever you will hover over this setting you you have to go to this reading option and whenever you will go to this reading option you will find this your home page display select a static page and under home page select the page that you want to set as home and then click on this save changes now when i will refresh the page you will see like we i will left with only localhost slash portfolio 5 this slash home will go so let me replace and show you so here you can see i have replaced it and uh, here localhost slash portfolio 5 is only coming in the same way for this one also whenever i will replace it you will see like i will get a complete blank page so now our, we have set our home page as the main page now let's again go back to the pages and let's start creating our first section of the portfolio 5 so first again let's click on this edit and here we have to load the elementor page builder for it so let's uh, click on this edit with elementor so that our elementor page builder will get loaded and we can start creating our first section so what we have in the first section as you can see like again in the first section we have some headings over here and then we have this text over here again another heading and then we have some of these social icons so let's start creating this so for this again what i'm going to do i will click on this plus icon and i'm going to take a single section for it and let's start customize it so first of all here content width uh, here column gap i just want to set the column gap to no gap height i just want to make the height min height and here i want make sure you have selected this vh and give it a hundred vh of main height then column position will be middle and vertical align also i want to set it as middle and then stretch section just enable that stretch section also now let's move to the style tab and here we have to upload uh, this background image as you can see we have one background image over here so let's uh, select this background type as classic 
now here you can see that we have to you will get the option of adding image so i'm going to provide you all these images that we are going to use so what you have to do you just have to upload all the images and then you are all red set to uh, add the images so here you can see that now my images were getting upload once it will get upload then i can start adding it so this is the image that i want to use it as a background so i will click on insert media and as you can see i have added it now position i want to set it as center attachment i want to uh, make the attachment default repeat let's make it no repeat and then size i want to give it a cover after that uh, you can see like it is having a one black color background overlay so let's add some background overlay to it select this background overlay in this background type make, let's select this black color for this background overlay and then opacity here you can change it so i just want to give it a opacity of 0.55 and that's all now next we have uh, here you can see like we have a save divider over here and when you will find one save divider option so just go to this save divider bottom side and let's select the type to triangle and here you can see now we are getting a triangle you can set the width of it so let's set the width of this to 1 15 or 114 is fine and let you can adjust the height also i just want to give a height of 49 to it that's all now click on let's click on update and we are all done now uh, let's start adding the headings so first of all this is the heading over here so what i'm going to do let's click on this nine dot and just drag the heading over here now let me replace the text from here and then you can set the size and html tag also now what i'm going to do let me change the alignment to center align now let's move to the style tab and here i want to set this color as white color and then uh, you are getting a typography option just select this pencil icon for the typography font family that we are going to use over here is monstrate and here you can see i have set the font family to monstrate and then font size to 65 pixel after that weight 600 is fine and then line height i want to make a 1 em of line height only and letter spacing i just want to give a letter spacing of 2 to it all right so we have done with the first heading now let's click on update and our first heading is done next here you can see that we have this another heading over here with this all this text we're changing like web design and then web development and uh, this is digital marketing so let's add this so for that click on this nine dot and you will in the widget section search for fancy text so once you will search for fancy text so this is the fancy text by element add-on just drag it over here and you can give your first string second string third string whatever you want so first of all here you can see that we have this text expert in so here you can set the prefix text which is expert in and in suffix i don't want any text and then here you can uh, change all this first string second string so i just want to give it web design and then again i would like to click on add item and this one web development and let's add another item with the name digital marketing you can set all this and after that you are getting this fancy text setting where you can set a style one and style two is for pro version so just left it now after that animation type you can set all this animation type like faded or if you want to set this like fade up you can do but i want to stick with this typing only so let it be like the anime style type would be animation type also this typing and here you can set your delay on change and everything now let's move to the style tab and let's customize all so first of all we have this prefix text color so let's set the prefix text color to white and then click on this pencil icon to change the typography of it so again the font family i want to give it months rate and then font size i want to give it 40 pixel font weight let's give it uh, 3 200 of font weight and line height make sure you have selected this em and give it one em of line height to it all right so we have done with this one now uh, let's move to the fancy textile option and here in this fancy textile here you are getting this background type we don't need anything now let's directly move to the customize option so let's me remove this background because we i don't want any background over here now let's change the typography of it so again for this i want to give it a fun family to monstrate and font size to 35 pixel and font weight to 500 or for it 
after that if you want to give any decoration as you can see we have a decoration over here so for that decoration i want to give it a underline decoration that's all now solid color so i just want to give it a solid color white color and then typing cursor color you can set the typing cursor color also so i have set it as white only next here we don't have any suffix textile so let's don't add those next what we have in this uh, again we have some social icons so let's click on this nine dot and go to this widget section and here you can search for social icons just drag that social icons under it and uh, this is what you can add more number of social icons like instead of wordpress i just want to add instagram you can add it and you can have to select this insert so now suppose if you want to give your facebook link over here you can click and you are getting this link option you can set the link here only in the same way you can set a link for twitter youtube whatever link you want you can give it over here then shape also you are getting this shape rounded square or circle shape you can set it as this so i have set the circle shape and then let's move to the style tab to customize it so for this again a uh, color i just want to give it a custom color and what i will do let me remove completely the primary color and by default the secondary color becomes white now let's change the font size to 28 pixel and then spacing between these each icon I, you can increase it so i just want to give it a 15 spacing between them after that here border type we have none and everything if you want to set any hover animation on icon like let me give it one hover animation of float and whenever you will hover each of this social icon you can see we are getting this hover animation on it so with this we have completed our first section of the home page now let's move to the second section of the home page so now let's start creating the second section of this home page so here you can see that second section is the about section and here in the second section again we have on the left side we have a image and on the right side we have some of the text so let's start creating this section so first of all for this section again i will click on this plus icon and i am going to take a single section with two column so here you can see that i have taken a single section with two column now let's start with this a uh, column part first of all let's do some section settings so column gap i just want to make the column gap uh, wider and then here you can see vertical alignment let's set the vertical alignment to middle now let's directly move to the advanced tab and here i just want to give some padding to it so make sure you have selected this em and just give a 5 pixel 5 em of top padding and 5 em of bottom padding to this section all right so now on the left side here you can see we have an image over here so now let's add this image so click on this nine dot and just drag an image on the left side now let me select the image that we want to add so this is the image i will click on insert media and here you can see we have added the image over here i just want to go to this left column setting and here i just want to remove all this padding and margin so that it will cover this entire uh, section now now we have added a image on the left side and i just want to change its uh, column width so i will go to this layout option and here i want to give it a 45 percentage of column width to it now uh, on the right side we have a heading over here so let's copy this heading here and then click on this nine dot and just drag this heading part now let me replace the title over here to about me and then now let's go to the style tab and customize the heading for it so first of all here i just want to make the text color black color and then uh, click on this pencil icon to change the typography of it so font family here again i want to give it monstrate and font size i want to give it 45 pixel all right so we are done with this about me heading now let's move towards the other heading so for the second heading again i just want to right click and duplicate this heading only and let me replace the title from here now after that i can go to the style tab and customize it so first of all the text color here i want to give it a six times nine and then click on this pencil icon to customize the typography for it so here font family i want to give a font family to poppins and then font size to it i want to give it 20 pixel and let's wait change the weight of it so font weight will be 500 
and I just want to give a letter spacing of two so that there will be space between them so now let's click on update and with this we have already added this next here you can see we have a paragraph text over here so let's copy this paragraph text from here and then again I will go to the widget section of the elementor and here I just want to drag this text editor widget now in this text editor widget let me replace the entire paragraph text after adding all this paragraph text now let's move to the style tab and here I just want to give the text color to it so let's change the text color to 6 times 9 and then now let's change the typography for it so click on this pencil icon and here again I want to give a font family of Lato and then font size I want to give it 18 pixel now font weight 400 is fine line height I want to give it a 2 EEM of line height and we are done with this paragraph text also after the paragraph text here you can see that we have a progress bar over here so we have three progress bars so let's start creating this three progress bar so for this again click on this nine dots and here you have to search for progress bar so let me search for progress bar and here you can see like uh, this is the first widget we are getting this progress bar we have to use over here so let's drag it here now uh, i just want to change the title of it and then here you can change the title layout everything or you can uh, look for other progress bar also let me show you other progress bar options like here you can see we have another progress bar with elementor add-ons also we can use this elementor add-ons progress bar also so let's customize this here in this layout you, you will find different types of layouts which were in the free version and which are in this pro version we cannot use them because uh, we don't have any pro version of it so that's why let's use this layout setting of line now what i want to do now let me change the title to wordpress and uh, here in this title part i will replace the text to wordpress after that here you can see you can like counter value if you want to make it static or if you want to change it to dynamic you can do that one so i want to make the counter value static and here let me give it a counter value of 90 to it and you can also control the animation duration of it if you want to like make a longer animation duration you can set it like this and it will take long time and if you want the faster you can set it so you can control the animation duration according to you next we have this uh, style option so let's go to the style tab and let's customize it. so alignment here i want to give it a left align after that here if you will see we have a background over here so let's go to this background setting and here you can control the height of the progress bar so here i just want to give a height of 5 to it and then color again the color code for this one will be f2 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 and then next we have this fill option so here in this fill option you can see like you can also get a height so let's set the height to 5 for this one also and then for now background type i just want to give it a black color background to it now let's go to the typography and uh, here you have you can change the typography of the title and the counter value so now first let's change the typography of the title and here font family again i want to give it monstrate and then font size i want to give it 16 pixel and uh, text transform you can set the text transform to uppercase because all the texts are in uppercase here in the demo site next here uh, we have a counter value setting so let's go to this counter value setting and here also font family i just want to give a font family to monstrate and then font size for this one i want to give it 16 pixel and font weight 600 is fine all right so with this we have done with one counter value so now what i can do one, with one progress bar i can duplicate that same progress bar to three times and then i can uh, uh, you whatever like heading or whatever counter value if i want to change i can change it like here if you can see like we have a branding or development over here so here i can change the title to branding and then in the same way i can change the title to here development and it's all completely ready so with this we are uh, we have completed with this section so here one more thing is left which is these two buttons with this hire me and download 
CV. So let's set that button or like set those buttons also to set those button. Click on this nine dot and let's first take a inner section in it so that we can create two buttons over here. Now uh, let's start with the left button which is this hire me button. So click on this nine dots and search for button over here and uh, you will find a button option just drag it on the left side now let's change the text so here i just want to give it a text hire me and then whatever link you want to give to this button you can give it over here and then you can change the size of it and we don't have any icon otherwise you can add icon to this also now let's move to the style tab and let's customize it so first of all we have this typography setting so let's click on this pencil icon and here fun family i want to give it monstrate and then font size i want to give it 16 pixel font weight let it be 500 and trans text transform i just want to give it a uppercase so that uh, all the text will come in uppercase now after this uh, here you can see over if you will notice over here we have to change the color of it so first of all let me give it a text color of white uh, black color and uh, background color i just want to give a background color to white all right then border type i want to make the border type as solid and let me give it a one one width of border side to all and then now the border color i just want to give it a black color and uh, we don't have any border radius it is completely rectangular in shape so let me remove the entire border radius from it now after that here you can see we have uh, padding over here so let's set a padding of 25 to all the side and in top and bottom i just want to make it a uh, 12 pixel top and 12 pixel bottom padding and that's all for this hire me button now after this hire me you can see one more button which is this download cv so what i can do i can copy this button and i can write paste it on this right column and here i can control it so let's uh, here first of all let's change the text of the button so here i want to make it download cv and then here you, you will notice we have an icon on this so let's move, uh, click on this icon library and here you can search for any download you will get this icon so let's add this icon over here click on insert and then icon position also you can set i will change the icon position to after then let's move to the style tab and here i would like to make the text color to white and background color to black like this and then you will uh, you can see this is how it's going to look like and if you want to add some margin at the top so let me give it a 10 pixel of top and bottom margin to this and with this we are done with the second section of the home page now let's move to the third section which is the services section so now let's start creating the services section so again for this again i'm going to take a single section with one column only for this one so let's click uh, let's go to our elementor page builder now click on this plus icon and then let's take a single section with one column only this one now let's uh, start doing some of this changes to this uh, section setting so first of all uh, for this one also vertical alignment i want to make it as middle and now let's move to the style tab and let's customize it so first of all background type i want to make it classic and let me give it a color code of 232323 23. that's all now let's move to the advanced tab and for this one also make sure you have selected this em and just give a top 5 em of padding and bottom 5 em of padding to this section now next here you can see that we have a heading which is similar to this about me so what i will do i will right click and copy this heading from here and i will right click on it and paste it over here and the only thing which we have to do we have to change the color only now let's move to the content part and instead of this about me it will be services and the alignment will be center so here you can see now we have the center line now next we have all these icon boxes so for this uh, here you can see we have three number of icon boxes so for this we have to take a inner section so that we can create a three sec three columns so click on this nine dot and let's take a inner section after the heading and i just want to make another let another column on it so that it will be we can properly absorb it so now in column setting let's go to this and column gap i just want to make it no gap and then here in this advanced tab i just want to give a 20 pixel of top margin and 20 pixel of bottom margin to this inner section all right so now let's start uh, creating this so first of all here you can see we have to take a icon box 
so let me take a icon box here and i will drag this icon box on the first left column and here you can set all your icons and everything so first let me choose an icon for it so i will search for laptop as you can see we have a laptop icon so let's click on this insert and we have added it now we have the heading over here which is web design so i'm going to add this title to it a web design in the same way we have some uh, description text so let's add the description text over here so now you can see we have added the description text if you want to give any link to this entire icon box you can give it over here in this link section next let's move to the style part of it so first of all we have to set the icon color so let's give it a icon color white color now i spacing i just want to give a spacing of 10 and then size i want to give the icon size 35 and then let's now move to the content part and here in the content part again the alignment will be center and then title spacing and all so let me give it a title spacing zero title color i want to give it white color now click on this pencil icon and then let's give it a fun family of monstrate and then font size of 18 pixel after that here you can see we have a font weight and everything now let's customize the font size and everything for uh, this description text so here you can see uh, we have this color code let's change the color code for the description the color code here i want to give it six times nine and then click on this pencil icon to change the typography for the description also so here fun family i want to give it a fun family of lato and then uh, let me choose it lato and then font size i want to give it 14 pixel and the line height let me give it 1.5 bm of line height to this and uh, this is what we have to done now let's move to the advanced tab and let's give some padding to it so i just want to give a 30 pixel of padding to entire section or let me give it 30 pixel of padding is fine over here all right so now after this now let's go to this column setting and here in this column setting i just want to go to this advanced tab and here i want to add 15 pixel of 15 or 20 pixel of more padding to it let me add some more padding which will look better so let me give it 35 pixel of padding and it will look good so here you can see now i have added this 35 pixel and whenever we are hovering over it the background color is changing so how we can uh, make that one so for that again we have to go to this style tab and here you have this background on hover so you can set this background on hover option and just select this background type as classic and let me give it a black color to it and let's select this transition duration completely three and here you can see when i am hovering over it this is how it's going to look like and uh, we are done with this so what i will do i will right click on it column and i will duplicate it for three times and i will delete the empty columns over here now i'll click on update and here you can see like we have uh, created the first inner section and by right click on this inner section by duplicating this inner section we are done with all these nine services which were in our demo site so in this way you can create over here whenever we are hovering over it you can see we are getting this black color background color and here you can change like description and title text or icon whatever you want to change you can change it from here next here after the services section here you can see we have this portfolio section so now let's start creating the portfolio section so again for this portfolio section i am going to take a single section only so let's take a single section with one column so click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with one column after that now let's make the vertical alignment for it to middle and then let's directly move to the advanced tab and here i just want to give a 5 em of top padding and 5 em of bottom padding this is white in color so you can also add a you can add a 5 em of top and 5 em of bottom margin to it also after that now let's start adding this heading over here so again what i can do i can take this heading which i have created for this about section so i can right click and paste it over here 
the only thing which i have to do i have to go here and copy the title from this and let me paste the title over here and alignment i want to give it a center align for this now uh, next what we have in this section so here you can see we have to create this uh, filterable whenever we are clicking on this brand design or graphics we have to create this portfolio section over here whenever we are hovering over it we are getting some heading description and then these buttons so now let's start creating this so first of all go to this widget section and here you have to search for filterable and you will find this filterable gallery by elementor add-ons just drag it over here and i just want to go to this advanced and let me give it a top 20 pixel of margin to it 20 or 50 pixel of margin so that there will be some gap between uh, these so uh, top 50 and let me also give no, no bottom 50 doesn't require so top 50 is fine now let's see what we have we have to uh, create these so for this let's again move to this part filterable gallery in the content part you can like item to so as you can see we have uh, eight number of items over here so let's uh, item to so it will be eight column is three and then grid style it will be grid only and then layout will be overlay you can set some hover style over it hover transition you can set and buttons everything is fine and after that here you can see like we have a filterable control so here you can create different filters like brand design graphics so let me change this gallery item to brand and then i just want to uh, duplicate it and i want to change the text design and here graphics all right so here you can see like we have created these filterable controls over here and then uh, whenever you will go to this gallery item let me delete all these gallery items and here you can set a control name suppose if i would set this control name as brand and whenever i will go to this brand and it will display over here in brand let me show you how so first of all here you can see that uh, we have whenever we are hovering over it we are getting this title item name so here you can see item name and then you can set the item description over here and then here now we have to add the image to it so how we can add this image whenever you will scroll down you will find this image option you can set the image so let me set this image and then click on insert media so here you can see now i have added this image now what i will do i will duplicate it to eight times and as i have like one two three four five six seven eight so i have duplicated it for eight times and here you can see it is displaying but whenever we will go to the design there are no items in graphics no item but in brand we have all the eight items because why we have given this uh, control name brand to it that's why so here if i will say change this brand name to graphics and whenever we will go to graphics you will find we will get one portfolio over here so in this way you can control this uh, using this control name after that here you can change as i have already you can change different images also so i'm not going to change all these images to save some of the time but you can change any of these images and whenever you will go to this brand or design or graphics you can see you you will get this filterable control let me change some of this control name to design also so that we will get some of the items in design section so for this control name again i want to give it a design and then let me change the image to image for it so let's select this image and let's select this image and then click on insert media so whenever we will go to the design so now here you can see we are getting this images next let me select another image so that it will look good all right so now we have created this section let's move to the style tab and uh, let's uh, have some styling over here so first of all here in this style tab you are getting this background color so let's make the background color to transparent and then now let's move to the control style so here in this control style you can set us padding over here so let me first give a 25 pixel of padding towards all the side and what i want to do i just want to remove like i want to give a top 10 pixel and a bottom 10 pixel and on right and left it would be 25 pixel now click on this pencil icon to change the typography for it so font family will be monstrate and then font size i want to give it 16 pixel to it all right now after that here you can see like whatever text color we are getting so 
text color i just want to give a white color text and in background color i want to give it a background color and here you can see this is how it's going to look like on active here you can see if you want to set any active color like brand is active so it will become in red so you can set it like this that's why i'm showing it to you but you can uh, like here we have this gray color i can also add this gray color also to it after that here you can see like we have this item style but no need to do anything with the item style let's go to this item hover style so here you can set on item hover style you can set a background color to it and then title typography so i just want to change the typography of all this rest the color and everything is fine so let's change the typography for the title part so for this again i want to give it a fun family of bevat new and then font size i want to give it 24 pixel to it uh, in the same way after the typography you are you can change the typography for the content part also so click on this pencil icon and then here i just want to uh, change the fun family to did that gothic and then font size i want to give it 16 pixel to it now here you can see whenever we are hovering over it we are getting a proper heading title and description now we need to change these icon styles which were we are getting so on this icon style here you can see we have to set the background color to black color and then here you can see on hover let's see what we are getting on hover on hover also we are not uh, getting anything so here on hover also you can change this color code like this and with this we have completed this fourth section of the home page which is this portfolio section now let's click on update and let's move to the next section so here you can see our next section is this our client section so now let's start creating this section so as you will see uh, in the service section is similar like we have the heading so what i can do i can right click and duplicate this entire service section so that i can reuse this uh, in our client section so first of all uh, let's drag it over here and i want to close all these inner sections over here and instead of the services i just want to uh, make it the title to our clients so let's change it to our clients and then here let's see what we have here you can see again we have these all carousel of images or you can call it as carousel of logo so let's start creating this so first of all let's again click on this nine dots and here you can search for image carousel let me search over here image carousel just drag it over here and uh, here you can select number of images you want to make so i don't have those images so what i'm going to do uh, let me copy uh, or upload one of the image that we can use over here so so uh, let me upload some of these logos to it so i just want to upload it So here you can see i have uploaded eight number of logos to it and uh, let me click on this create a new gallery and then i will click on insert gallery and uh, here you can see we are get able to see only five numbers so here image size you can make the image size to full and then slide to so you can control it from here so make it five and then slide to scroll you can set the slide to scroll as one and then image stretch you can uh, no need to stretch the image so you can set the image stretch to uh, no and then navigation as you can see we don't have any navigation number demo site so i can change the navigation to none over here and then everything like caption and everything is none so let it be after that let's move to the style tab and here in the style tab vertical align i want to set the vertical align to center and that's all we are done with this our client section also so now let's start creating the sixth section of the home page and sixth section is this testimonial section so let's start creating this so for this sixth section again click on this plus icon and let's take a single section with one column and now uh, after that i just want to change some of this with the this setting so in the section setting i just want to make the vertical alignment to middle after and then let's go to this advanced tab and here i just want to give a six pixel uh, six em of top and uh, you can set it as five em of top and five em of bottom margin to this section all right after this uh, here you can see we have a heading over here with the heading text which is testimonials so let's take this 
and uh, here what i'm going to do i will right click and copy this heading from here and uh, now i will right click and paste it over here now let me change replace the title here to testimonials and we are done with the heading now here if you will see we have to create this te two testimonials over here on the left we have one on the right we have another testimonial so let's start creating this so for that again i want to take a inner section inside it and let's go to the inner section setting column gap i want to make the column gap to no gap after that let's go to this advanced tab and i just want to give a 20 pixel of top margin and 20 pixel of bottom margin to this inner section then now let's uh, go to the widget section of the elementor and here we have to search for testimonials and you can use any of this testimonial so let's use this testimonial by elementor add-on and here we can set like whatever testimonial image we want to set so let me select this image as the testimonial image and then uh, here we have this testimonial uh, content over here so we can set whatever testimonial content we want to set it over here so let's uh, make this like uh, this name and everything is fine over here after this uh, name and one more thing if you will notice uh, we have this name and then this uh, this is the testimonial text so let me copy this testimonial text from here and i just want to paste it and here when you will scroll down you will find this display rating we don't want to see this display rating over here so i have just make it off now let's move to the style tab to customize it so first of all select the style you can set some of the styles like if you want to set it as classic or icon image or any content icon image you can set it but i just want to make it as default only now uh, here layout i want to alignment i want to change it to center alignment and then uh, here we have this testimonial image style so let's customize this testimonial image size so here you can uh, customize the width of the image and you can set the max width over here so let it be 150 only for this image after that here you can see we have this rounded avatar so you can uh, make it on like rounded avatar and then we have this color and typographies and spacing so let's customize it so first of all for user name like username let it be this black color only and now let's change the typography for it so for this one again i want to give it a monstrate and the font size everything will i want to give it as default only same for this company name also i want to change the font family to poppins and everything i just want to leave it as it is let me change the color to black color only or I can give it a 272727 color code for this company name after that we have this testimonial text over here so for this testimonial text I just want to give it a color code of AB 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 and now let's change the type or uh, let it be the default typography it won't be any problem after here you can see like distance between the ratings item we don't have any distance so let it let's remove it let's remove the margins between these all username and colors and everything now let's update it next it uh, when it comes for this uh, settings what we have this quote quotation style setting here you can see this is the quotation style here so let's set a quotation mark color for it the color code for this one i want to give it a b a b a b to it and then quotation position from top everything is fine over here so uh, now if you will notice over here uh, i just want to change some of this typography but it is let's again go to the content part and here in this content part i just want to remove some of this spacing between them like this and here you can see now it is working fine so now let's go to this advanced tab and let's customize give it some padding to it so i just want to give a 30 pixel of padding to this entire settings or 35 pixel of padding is looking good now uh, let's go to this column setting and here in this column setting i just want to go to the style tab and uh, on style tab uh, in hover uh, hover setting if you will notice whenever we are hovering over it we are getting a box shadow over here so how we can set it so for that again for we have to go to this border option and on hover we have to enable this box shadow to it so let me give it a box add over here so first of all i want to say select a color vertical alignment i want to give it three blur position i want to give it 15 
and let's see how it looks like so here you can see whenever we are hovering over it, it this is how it's going to look like this so i just want to customize it more so i'll again click on this color option and let's uh, change it 0 0.15 and let's see how it's going to look like so here you can see this is how it's going to look like and now what i will do i will duplicate this uh, column for one more time and i will duplicate this inner section one time so that we will have a four testimonials over here so let's see how it's going to look like so here you can see this is how this testimonial sections will look like and with this we have completed the six section of the home page now let's move to the seven section which is here you can see this is in the seven section this is our latest blog section so let's start uh, creating this uh, seven section so for this section again what we have to do as i have already told you in this uh, before that we have to create this blog post for that so let's go to the wordpress dashboard to create the blog post so click on this three line and click here on exit to dashboard to go back to your dashboard and now from the dashboard we have to go to the post section and there we have to create blog post for it so now again let's click on this wordpress logo and go back to the dashboard and from this dashboard here you can see we have a post tab over here and in this tab let me copy this how to make a wordpress site this would be our heading so i will click on this add new button to create it uh, so to create a new post over here let me give it a title over here how to make a wordpress site over and then here we if you want to publish it you can publish it before that i just want to pick some of this lorem ipsum text over here and i just want to paste it as a, a normal text and let me publish this so he will now if you will want to see like we want to get a, a background a like featured image so that this image will be appear so how i can uh, do that one so for that again we have to go to this featured image section so let's go to this post section in it and uh, here we have to set some of this featured image so let's search for that featured image so here you can see this is the featured image option so here you can set a featured image click on that featured image and you can select any of this image as a featured image let me uh, i like let me select any one image for this featured image and then you can create different categories from here also like if you want to give it some categories you can create categories if you want to give some tags over here you can give some give those tags also now uh, let's pub update it and we are done with the first post in the same way we are we have to create this other post also so what i'm going to do again i will click on this add new and then let me copy this title from here and how to make a portfolio site this is this will be my heading and then let me give some paragraph text to it and now i will go to this post tab and let me go select any of this featured image from it or i can i will select the same featured image and publish it in the same way one more blog post i need to create so let's again go back to the post section and here in this post section click on this add new and then uh, again let's replace the page title and now let's replace the paragraph text inside it let's go to the post tab and let's select a featured image so this will be again the featured image all right so we have created three posts now let's go back to our home page and let's customize that latest block section so we are going to create this latest block section so let's go back to the pages section again and here again i will click on this edit with elementor to load my elementor page builder once the elementor page builder will be loaded then we are going to create this latest block section over there so let's the elementor page builder loaded and here you can see when i will go here let's take a in another section or i can duplicate this our client section because this is similar so let me take it down under the after the testimonial and instead of this our clients i want to give it a heading of this latest blog all right after that uh, here we have to create this uh, post section so for that let me right click and remove this image gallery part and here i have to search for post and you will find this post created by elementor add-on just drag at that and here you can see we have this source we have post and then post per page i just want to set it as three so that it will display three posts per page and then offset and everything is fine now let's uh, go to the layout setting column also i want to make it three and then you can set a uh, 
it, this is the default option of template layout then we have you can show image so we i want to show my image that's why i will enable like click on this slow image so now uh, here you can see like we have the image height also if you want to give some image height you can give it over here a specific height uh, for your image then title tag you can set it after that so expert is fine over here and so words and then expansion indicator is also fine then let's see whether we have this read more or button so we have this read more button so let it be the read more button and then so avatar so author name and so date we don't want to see these and then links so here you can set the links like if you want to set it as no follow link or target blank link to the images so you for title you can set it like for title if you want to set the target blank then it will open in a new tab if, if there will be no follow link then it won't be like it will not work anything like it will not take us to that block block it now let's move to the style tab and let's customize it so first of all here post background color i just want to make the post background color to transparent and that's all after that here we have this thumbnail style so if uh, let me like thumbnail radius i don't want to give any thumbnail radius then let's go to this meta style and here you can we don't have any meta so i don't want to uh, add some meta or meta position let's directly move to the color uh, typography and spacing so first of all i just want to change all this title color to white color and then title hover color to white color only in the same way i just want to change this title alignment so here you can set the title alignment also so let it be left align only now like, let's change the typography for it so again i just want to change the font family to montserrat and then font size i want to give it 20 pixel to it now font weight let's give it a font weight of 700 and that's all for it now let's move to the margin of it so here i just want to give it unlink the margin and i want to give a top 10 pixel of margin and bottom 10 pixel of margin to this then we have this export setting and this as again we have to give it a expert uh, text color so here click on this text color and i want to give it a color code of a b a b a b and let me give it that hash mark all right then now let's change the expert typography so here again i just want to change the font family to poppins and then font size to 16 pixel after that uh, next we have this margin for it so let's unlink it and uh, here i just want to give it a top 10 pixel and bottom 10 pixel of margin to it now we have this hover card style here we can set a hover card style so first of all we don't need any animation over here and uh, here this fade in is fine with this color icon font size we don't have any icon so we don't no need to do that read more button style we can change the read more button style also so first of all for this read more again uh, let's change with the typography first so here i just want to uh, give this typography of montserrat let me select this font family montserrat and then font size i want to give it 14 pixel after that for uppercase transform weight i want to give it 600 and line height of 2.5 em of line height to it all right after that uh, here you can see we have this uh, text color so i just want to give it a text color of a b a b a b and let me give it a hash mark inside so now we can able to see the read more also all right so and then what we what else is remaining uh the thing which is remaining over here is uh, this background color to the post so for the post grid style i just want to make let's give it a a a b a b a b and i just make want to make it make that one transparent so that our all this text and everything will be displayed so let's see how it's going to look like so here you can see this is the blog post section and with this we have uh, completed this blog post section and you can if you want you can customize all this like towards left if you want to give it 20 pixel towards right also you can give it 20 pixel and uh, if you want to give some spacing like this and here you can see and if you want to make this like if you will make uh, some of this layout or fix width also you can increase it then also you can uh, it will look better so let it be let's uh, make the default width and everything is fine 
and here for this top also i just want to give it 20 pixel and bottom let's give everything a 20 pixel of space towards all the side all right so with this we have completed the seven section now let's move to the eight section which is this contact section so let's start creating this contact section so first of all again you can see we have a heading over here with the contact me text so what i can do over for this one also i can let me call right click and call duplicate this testimonial section and uh, instead of this i will just delete this inner section and i will drag it under the latest block now after that here you can see my title is this contact me so i am going to replace this title instead of this testimonial i want like to uh, paste it over here this contact me and then we are done with it so next we here you can see that we have this three columns over here with this phone email and address so for this again we need to create a single section with three columns so click on this let's take a inner section let me add more column over here so now we have a single section with three column now uh, this will be uh, like we are going to use a icon box for this so let's take a icon box on it so here uh, we are going to use this icon box and after this uh, let's drag this icon box to it so let's drag this icon box now we can set a icon so let me set a icon of phone and then i will click on insert then view i want to make the view to stack shape will be circle and then here you can see this is my title which is my phone phone is my title and then i just want to give it a number that will be in the description part so here you can see i have added it in the description part then here if you want to give any link to it you can give a link over here then you can set icon position also so everything is fine now let's go to the style tab and let's customize it so first of all for icon i just want to give it a primary color to it so the color code will be f4 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 and then uh, this secondary color i just want to give it a black color now spacing 15 is fine and then size of it let me give it a 26 size and then padding over here i just want to give a 20 padding now we don't need any radius uh, rotate or anything so let's directly go to the content part and here in this content part here you can set a title spacing over here so let's give it a title spacing 5 and then color code for the title i want to give it black color and now let's change the typography for it so font family again i want to give it monstret and then font size i want to give it 18 pixel for it now after that uh, here we can see over here description part so here in this description part let's uh, give it a color code so the color code i want to give it a b a b a b and then now let's change the typography for it so again for this i want to give it a font family poppins and then font size i want to give it 14 pixel to it so now uh, we are done with one icon box so what i can do i can copy and paste paste the same icon box over here and we are uh, having now three columns over here in this and if you want you can change whatever heading you want to change and then whatever text you want to replace you have uh, that right you can change it over here next here you can see that uh, we have a form over here so let's start creating this form so for that again uh, let's go back to the wordpress dashboard so what i'm going to do i'm opening the this dashboard in a new tab and let me uh, create a form for it so first of all again let's click on this wordpress logo and let's go back to the wordpress dashboard and from this dashboard you will find this wp forms which we have installed just click on the wp forms and then uh, here you can see like we don't have any form so click on this add new and whenever you will click on our add new button in this wp form this form will get loaded and you can uh, use this simple template which is simple contact form and that will be easy for you to like it will give you some of the basic part and you can easily able to customize and your form will be ready so as you can see over here we have this name first name and last name uh, and here you can see in the advanced part uh, and smart let's uh, we don't have access to this so here we in this label you can see format is first last so it will be first last only required is fine field option advance you can see font first name and if you want to set any placeholder so let's see what we have to set 
so i just in the general part only let's go to this general and it will be i don't want to give any label to it okay let's give it a label name and then format will be simple after that in advance uh, size let's give any size to it so what are what are the size you want to give you can set it over here and then placeholder for this again i want to give it a placeholder name and then uh, here i just want to hide the label so label will not uh, display over here in the same way for email i just want to go to this email placeholder text i will set it as email and then i will hide the label and sub label to it and now my label and sub label won't be displayed then next we have this message option so here comment or message is fine advance and here i want to give it a uh, placeholder text is message and then i will hide the label to it then uh, here instead of this button uh, submit we have to uh, set it as send message so let's change the text to send message to it all right now let's save the form so here you can see we have saved the form now let's uh, refresh our elementor page builder and once our elementor page builder will be refreshed then we can start adding our form that we have created in this wp forms so let's go to our h section in the which is contact section and here again i am going to take another inner section after it and with one column only so let me have a one column now here let in the widget section let me search for wp forms which here you can see we are getting this wp form by element add on now let's select a form so here you can see simple contact form is displaying that is what we have created i don't want to show the title description label or okay placeholder i just want to show so here you can see it is now coming now let's move to the advanced uh, style tab and let's customize it so first of all the form alignment i want to make the form alignment to center and then max width for the form you can set it so let me give it a 650 pixel of max width to this form next we have uh, this title and description we don't have any title description no need label also we don't have so no need to go to that setting input and text area let's start with this so here you can see like we have this background color so let me give it a background color f4 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 and then text color again i just want to give it a black color text and on focus uh, if you will see over here on focus uh, this is the border is becoming black color so in this on focus border type i want to give it a solid one width with this black color so now on focus here it is becoming black then we have this field description so field description also not required then we can go to directly go to this placeholder text and let's set the placeholder text to this to color 232323 and uh, i think we have missed something in the input text area field only so let's change of the typography over here this one i click on this pencil icon to change this and here you can uh, change the font family to didact gothic and then font size let's make it 16 pixel for it and font weight 500 is fine so now let's move to the submit button directly and here in the submit button i just want to set the alignment to center aligned and then width is custom fine now background color i just want to give it a black background color and text color i want to give it white now let me uh, give it a proper padding to it so i just want to give it a 20 pixel of padding to all the size and that will be fine after that now let's change the typography so click on this pencil icon and let's change the typography so font family for this again i want to give it monstrous and then font size i want to give it 16 text transform will be upper case that's all we are done with the form also so with this we have completed our home page completely and if you will see we are going to create a single page only so here you can see when we are clicking on about our services it is taking us to that section so how we can make that so for that here let's go back and let me show you so this one is uh, about section so click on this entire section and go to this advanced and just add a css id about and let you will be you can ab easily able to create so here we have about then again for this service section css id i want to give service and then uh, for portfolio again let's go to this portfolio part and let me uh, remove this one and i will let me give it top 5 and 
and a bottom 5 padding so here CSS ID again I want to give it portfolio then uh, we have this our clients option so here in this advanced CSS ID I want to give it client and then again for this testimonial one let's go to this advanced and CSS ID let's give testimonial and same way let's uh, in this blog part let's add uh, this CSS ID blog and then for this contact part uh, let's add a CSS ID let me we'll make it zero and uh, I want to make it top 5 and bottom 5 and I just want to give it a CSS ID contact to it alright so we have added all these CSS IDs and also I am going to explain you why we have added so we have added because we have to make it one page so for that we have added it so let's go back to our dashboard and let's start create the menu and let's check whether it is working or not so click on this wordpress logo again and you you have the whenever you will hover over this appearance you will get this menus option so just go to this menu option and here in this uh, first let's create a menu so i am going to create a new menu which is main menu and then i will click on this create menu after creating this menu let's uh, add some of this custom links so first of all uh, pages I just I want to add this home and then here in this contact as you can see let's see whatever what are the sections we have so first of all uh, we have give it created one about so let me give it about and then here in the after about we have this services so let's give it a ID service and then here I want to give it services next we have this portfolio so let's give it a ID portfolio and then I want to give it portfolio as text next we have this our client so i just want to give it a url uh, like client and then here it will be client then we have this testimonials uh, so here you can add like hashtag testimonial and then the text here i want to give it testimonial testimonial only next we have this uh, blog section also so let's create a url for blog so the id will be blog and then uh, that link text will be blogs next we have this contact me section so the url i want to give it the id which we have given is contact and I want to uh, give the text also contact over here like, like this and then click on this add menu after that here you can see we have arranged in the right way now let's click on save menu after that now let's refresh the page and let's see whether we are getting the uh, menus or not so we are not getting so click on this edit page and here in this edit page you will get this template option so select this element of full width and update it now let's view our home page and we must be able to see the uh, okay our testimonial uh, like this menus are not i think let's set it as primary menu and let's save the menu again and now when i will refresh it let's see why we are not okay now you can see our menus are coming and when i am clicking on about services and portfolio it is taking us to that section testimonial client it is taking us to the testimonial blog contact so with this uh, so here you can see our menus are working so now uh, let's cl click on this customize option to customize our header over here so let's see what we have in the header so you can see we have a transparent header on it so let's start uh, creating this header so uh, here we have a logo so let's start creating it so first of all here you can see we have a header builder in this so click on that header builder and then here you can see this is the header builder where you can set your site logo and everything so let's uh, select this site title and logo so we don't we have to set this site logo so i think we don't have that logo let's upload all upload our logo let's it skip the cropping and our logo will be uploaded i don't want to show the site title that's why i have removed it so after here you can see i have not set the site title also over here next uh, on the right side we are getting this primary menu that is fine then here whenever you will see we have this display design option so here you can set the font size and everything over here so first of all we have to make this header as transparent so here you will find whenever you will click on this header builder you will find this transparent header option so enable this on complete website and uh, you can able to see 
the header builder setting and then you can also customize whatever you want like here display on pages and then display on blog page display on latest you can set display on 404 page so you can like uh, customize it where you want to uh, set all this so here display on for search display on blog page everything display on post also you can set it after that whenever you will uh, go to this one uh, this part where we have the logo width so we can customize this logo width of it so how let's set our logo width so that 150 or anything 150 pixel again i think it is not getting display let's enable this uh, display disable on blog page disable on pages disable on i just don't want to disable anything so now here you can see uh, this it is working fine and now let's uh, set the design of it so here you can set some of the border size and everything if you want to set but i don't want to set it i don't let's directly go to this logo setting and here you can set the logo width so let me give it a logo width of 180 pixel over here and then i don't want to display the site title and then inline logo and site title tagline so these are everything is fine now let's directly go to this primary menu setting and let's change the primary menu part so here first of all we have to go to this design part to change the design so first of all here you can see menu hover style you can set some of this menu hover style also if you want like if you want to get a underline style you can add it and then here we can have a border width and here you can see sub menu animation we don't want so now let's directly move to the menu color so here text color i just want to give it a text color to white and then menu font uh, which is the typography so here uh, i just want to change this so here you can see text transform uh, i just want to make the uppercase so that all the menu text will be in uppercase and font size i just want to give it uh, for 13 pixel is fine and then font family for this one will be monstrate that's all and uh, here if you want to give any line height also you can give it but it is not required so with this we have uh, done with the heading part let me publish the page and then uh, header so now let's see one on the footer what we have so we have only this copyright text on the footer so now let's go to the footer builder and let's uh, build that footer so for that again i will go to this customize option and here in this customize option i will go to this footer builder and in this footer builder you can see we have already this copyright text over here so in this copyright 2022 portfolio 5 by uh, here like theme author in this i just want to make give our the cms guys and then uh, here you can go to this uh, setting part where you can uh, go to this design and you can change the background color like this so here let here you can see i have made the background color to black and in the same way i just want to make the text color to white so for that again i will go to this copyright setting in design i just want to change the text color to white color after that uh, here we have like font size i want to give it 16 pixel of font size and let's uh, publish this page. so here you can see with this we have completed this portfolio 5 website thank you so much for watching this video till now and if you really like this video if you really enjoy this video please like share and subscribe our channel don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notification of a new video every week thank you so much